I'm Carl.Tech, I'm an Ethereum Foundation researcher, and I'm working on Plasma, Sharding, and Casper. At the same time, I'm also working on a crypto economics course, which basically takes everything that I've you know, learned and also it's a kind of community project where we're trying to put forward the, the core information that you need to you know, contribute to this decentralization technology and, and you know, crypto economics. The reason why that's so important is if no one understands how this tech is built and like how what, what really makes it decentralized and what the actual trade-offs that people are making, then we don't actually know what we're using and we're just trusting people we're trusting advertisers and man I use adblock I don't trust those guys I really think that the kind of infrastructure that we have today you know it's really shoddy and it's not great but you can start building things that people actually use and the important thing is that within six months I want us to have enough that we can continue to be excited about the decentralization space and actually provide value to people because like yes there's a lot of potential and there's already been a lot of value that's like created by you know having these uh, you know non-scalable financial mechanisms that people are deploying to these blockchains but it would be even cooler if we were able to actually get on with the experiments with like DAOs and you know large-scale user-facing applications this is really about creating a, a platform that is not based on a country it's not based on a you know a group in at all it's really based on this you know more fundamental kind of economic primitives like if you believe in money then you'll believe in the blockchain and so we've all been under the spell of you know money and and uh, we all kind of are agree that you know something is valuable now we can take that and we can use that to create this kind of stream of ordered data that is actually, you know, everyone has consensus on. And so with this kind of one place where we can all agree, I hope that people can build mechanisms which allow us to like work together and solve some of the larger problems. Interoperability between blockchains is a really interesting both problem and design space. So there needs to be much better infrastructure for interoperating between blockchains for sure. And it turns out that Plasma is actually part of that interoperability story. So essentially what, what Plasma allows you to do is it allows you to create these, you know, side chains, but you create you you make it so that the trust that you actually have to you know provide is, is rooted in the root chain. So in other words, if you trust the root chain is not going to revert, it's not going to be 51% attacked, whatever it is, then you can trust the integrity of all of the assets that are being transacted on that side chain. One of the most important things that we can do right now is not only propagate the information of how to create these systems, but also pr propagate that information to communities that are like really looking to, to utilize it and you know maybe don't have access to that information. Things that I like about EdCon is number one, they have awesome speakers. Um, number two, the organizers are awesome. Pandya is amazing. Um, the people are great. We, you know, the community is just like growing every year. It's kind of, it's amazing and a little scary. And, you know, I, and I really want this, this, you know, uh, I want the, the growth to continue. So one cool thing about the Ethereum and, uh, you know, the whole blockchain community is that we have these conferences. We all live in different places, but then we fly in for these conferences. And so what happens is we all fly together and we're all like in the same spot and now we can really propagate ideas. So it really is important that uh, not only do we have this online forum, but we also like communicate in person because there's a lot of information that doesn't necessarily get across when you're, you know, just using text.